What's up everybody, this is Classic Tycoon here, and we're back to start a brand new Let's Play series. We just finish, finished up the uh, Crazy Castle series, and that opened up for us Mystic Mountain. I think Ruler of Monkeys suggested doing that one, so I figured why not. Let's jump into Mystic Mountain today, and we'll start our, our new series on this one. So, I was just looking at Mel's World a little bit, but Mystic Mountain is a three-year mission, so that should be a little bit shorter for us than Crazy Castle. The goal is to have 800 guests um, in the park at the end of year three, park rating of at least 600. Very doable, I think, so uh, yeah, it should be a fun park. The first thing you notice about Mystic Mountain is it is a very small play area, very hilly play area. So it should be a nice challenge. Um, we're going to have to expand the park at some point. There's just not going to be enough room in this park uh, for a lot of stuff. And you'll see that in a moment. But let's just get something started here. We'll throw in this merry-go-round very first. Just to let the guests have something to do. Then we'll build a roller coaster for the more uh, intense preferring guests. Um, otherwise, your park rating is just going to drop. No one's going to have anything to do. That's the first thing I always do. So get something going for the guests that prefer less intense rides so they have something to do. Always quick and easy to do that. And then build something for those guests that prefer something a little more intense so that they don't just leave and you leave all that money on the table. All right, next thing I'm going to do as well is um, put in the information kiosk. I always do that. Guests will always buy things from the information kiosk right when walking in to the park so that should be yeah that's always going to be helpful okay I just wanted to check out a little bit you know how much the guests are bringing in um, those guests had about $80 that should be good checking out the roller coasters that we have available to us um, I was thinking about doing like a steel roller coaster a short one but uh, the looping roller coaster is not available to us, so as I mess with the uh, the research a little bit, I think the roller coaster we're going to go with first will be something a little different. Um, as far as the research goes, I just got rid of the scenery and theming for the research. I don't really care about that. I don't really need to be wasting research on that, um, but everything else should be okay. All right, I don't build suspended swinging coasters very often, so I figured let's give one of those a shot today. But like I was saying, look at the park size here. It's very, very small. Um, so I suspect that they'll let us buy some land on this park. So we'll look into that later, see how much the land costs. The thing about buying land is it can be very expensive. Um, to expand your park so it could make things a little tricky so that I think that's gonna be the main kind of gimmick of this scenario is having enough space to keep attracting those guests um, past you know like year two because you can see this roller coaster I'm trying to design it very you know relatively small um, but it's gonna take up like almost a quarter of the park here or at least like you know something like a sixth of the park or something so we're gonna have to be pretty conservative with our space there's not gonna be a lot of huge roller coasters in this park I would imagine um, unless we're able to expand quite a bit I don't see us being able to expand a lot unless we take out a big loan that might be something that we look into later into the series not really sure um, suspended swinging coasters, kind of fun to build. You can see there's not a lot of options. You got to do a lot of helixes, uh, lots of um, just windy uh, turns, you know, up hills and turns and, and things like that to keep it interesting. Uh, no steep drops or anything. So that's what we're doing with this. Uh, well, I guess we could do some steep drops, but it's just it's just such a small. I don't know, there's just, just a, not a lot of variety in these roller coasters. So, um, But this looks pretty good. I don't know if you guys have ridden any of these before. Not my exact favorite roller coasters to ride either. The only one I've ever ridden that I can think of is Ninja at um, 
Six Flags Magic Mountain. And yeah, it's it's a decent ride, but there's definitely better rides out there. But it'll be a good starting roller coaster. Fairly cheap to build. I mean, this cost me less than $10,000 to get going on. So that'll start bringing in some good income. We'll go ahead and test it and see what our numbers look like on it. And then we'll decide how much to charge for it and all, all that stuff. So we'll let that go. Um, got a little bit of a head start on the queue line here while it starts to test. Seems like the coaster is doing okay. Um, I'm not familiar enough with the roller coaster to see, to know the exact like physics. Some roller coasters have a hard time making hills than others. I thought this might, this one might have a tough time making some of these. Um, hills, but it did just fine. So nice and short and sweet. Should be an okay roller coaster to get us going today. Everything's in the black, nice and good. No, there's no like bank turns on this, but that's because the coaster itself swings. So you're gonna have a really hard time getting high lateral G's on a roller coaster like this. Um, Excitement rating 5.52, you saw that bump up a little bit while I was building the pathway. I'm sure that'll jump up as I build rides around it some more. But we'll start out with a $5.50 uh, price on that one. I could go much higher. Um, I don't talk about that a lot, but if you really wanted to, I probably could charge like 10 bucks for this roller coaster. You know, it helps your park rating to really keep low prices, keeps the guests happy. They think they're getting a great value when they're riding your roller coasters. It'll be you know, good for the park to have a nice, uh, a nice low uh, price on that. And as I say that, it starts to I'm gonna bump up the price of umbrellas. Um, if you guys haven't seen my parks before, I do this a lot at the beginning of the parks where guests will pay any price for umbrellas. I don't know if you just heard my dog barking. He just lost his toy. But um, anyways, guests will pay any price for umbrellas while it's raining. I know it's kind of a scam, but what you going to do? Okay, um, changing the colors of the suspended coaster. You know that some of those preset colors can be absolutely hideous. Um, I figured we'd have a mountain theme since it's Mystic Mountain, so I'm going to name this one Elk. Maybe we'll name all of our roller coasters after some sort of, you know, mountain animal. Um, so, I was thinking like Grizzly, but I was like, eh, this roller coaster is not, not quite intense enough to be naming it after the Grizzly. <laughs> um, Alright, let's get some food going here. We'll get some staff going and then we'll take a quick look at the uh, the expansion options that we have on the park and then we'll also then we'll wrap up the video here uh, we'll make this intro video to this nice and and short one so right here we'll throw in one mechanic one handyman that's probably all that we'll need for now should be good enough we did get a park award as well for safest park in the country that's nice that'll give us a little boost uh, in our guests coming in not gonna do any advertisement yet we'll probably start up on that in year two if needed okay this is how you check out um, how to buy land you're gonna go to your uh, main you know the park entrance area thing the click in the top left and as you can see right now I'm on construction rights so we don't have any construction rights available to us but we have all this land that we can buy so we can expand this park by basically double its size maybe even more I did buy a little plot of land right there you can see it cost ninety dollars so that's pretty expensive um, if you want to buy just ten pieces of land it's gonna cost you nine hundred dollars and at this point you know that's that's really not that much so We'll see about the expansion of the land. It might be a little bit too expensive for us. Who knows? Anyways, thanks for watching this video, you guys. 
check out some of my members here. These are people who help me out monetarily. If you'd like to know how to do that, you can click on the link in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.